Glory to God. Another thing that God does is three things. Praise the Lord. He blessed uh, Joseph, but he had to bless and comfort Job. In the book of Joel, you hear me say this all the time. In the book of Joel, bottom of page two, y'all. Uh, there you go. Praise the Lord. Look what he says he'll do. Look what God is doing in this hour. He says, I will what? Restore years. <laughs> you said what? Because even if God bless you, how are you going to make up for all that time? So God says, I will bless you. I will comfort you. And what? Restore you. I will restore the years, the traumatic years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm. God says, not only will I bless you, but I'm going to restore years. Y'all ought to thank the Lord right now. You said, what? Your age will mean nothing. Take a look. Are y'all with me? Your age will mean, when God deliver you from this trauma of your memory, your memories will no longer keep you old, but when God bless you and deliver you, whether he bless you, whether he comforts you, whether he restores you, guess what? You're going to look young again. Go ahead and give God praise. They're going to be asking questions. How old are you? With me? Amen. The second part of my text is I wind this up. The second part, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. What's a sound mind? A mind that's been healed. Come on, thank the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Guess what a lot of us need? Our mind need to be healed. Because we'll keep rehearsing and reliving the things of the past that's keeping us from going into our future. You won't, if you keep reliving the trauma of your past, you don't even realize that God delivered you from that. And if God delivered you from it, amen, he can, if, he can, if he'll deliver you from, he can deliver you too. He called you out of darkness, but he called you into his marvelous light. What's going to happen? On our way from Passover to Pentecost, guess what needs to happen? Our mind needs to be healed. When your mind is healed, that leash that's been on you, you don't even know what it was. Every time, every time the devil want to stir you up, what does he do? He stir up your mind. <laughs> Break that memory. Every time he want to stop you, okay, look like you're going, all right, that's enough. Guess what he do? Stir up that memory. All right, now, stir up that memory. For 40, over 40 years, I had a memory that ruined my day. Now, I ain't let nothing ruin my life. But I'm telling you, I, I thought, oh, God, no. Anybody else hard-headed, won't listen, know too much, got the scars for it. But we've been delivered. Come on, thank the Lord. Glory to God. We've been delivered, especially this season. But what I'm telling you today, that what God did for me, I came to work on one thing in the office. And God say, I, he said, I told you this again. Look at this again. Look at this again. And what I'm about to give you today, I went over this, and in 24 hours, I was healed in Jesus' name. The thought no longer had control over me. The thought could no longer change. The thought no longer had a feeling. As a matter of fact, the time even shrunk. I said, God, are you kidding me? It don't even seem like it was that long. I, and woke up, and, and, and I'm feeling like a new person trying to figure out, oh, what I need, what, how, what, what? Because you don't realize how much time you give to that thought. Now you got this thought. You, now the thought is gone, and now you got all this time. You're like, okay, what I, what I supposed to do? Because you spent so much time on that thought. But guess what God is going to do today? Going to give you a sound mind. Come on, thank the Lord. <laughs> now, I want to take my time because guess what I want you to get? I want you to get the same thing I got. I want you to deliver from that. I want you to deliver from that. Get your notes out. Get your notes out. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. So put that down. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God did not give it to you. 
Mm -mm. What God wants to give you is what? A sound mind. Power, love, and a sound mind. Amen. Deuteronomy 7 and 18. Take these down. Deuteronomy 7 and 18. Thou shall not. See, because there's some things we got to forget, but there's also things we got to remember. <laughs> Glory to God. Our life is not a vacuum. Our mind is not a vacuum. Our mind is remembering something all the time. And some things is remembering and need to forget. But if I forget something, I need to add something that I need to remember. So look what he says. Thou shalt not be afraid of them, but shall well remember what the Lord did, the Lord that God did unto Pharaoh and to who? All of Egypt. You better remember that God delivered you, that God is an enemy to your enemy, and God has delivered you from bondage and have delivered you to, to favor, and he's doing it in haste. Joshua 1 and 13. Now, I'm going to teach it because I want you to get this because you got to use this this week. You got to use this. You got to use it. Joshua 1 and 13. Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commands you, saying, The Lord your God has given you rest and have given you this land. Do you understand? When God has proclaimed the blessing over your life, don't you let no thought, nothing else come out of your mouth, but you got to forget that bondage, and, but you got to remember what the Lord did. You got to remember what he did to Egypt. You got to remember what he did to Pharaoh. Then you got to remember that God has given you rest and the land. The land will be enough. But God said, oh, I have given you rest and the land. Oh, Lord, write that down because you're going to need this. You've you got to make you some templates sometime. Amen. So you can speak to yourself and receive this deliverance in haste in, without delay in Jesus' name. First Chronicles 16 and 12. First Chronicles 16 and 12. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Remember God's marvelous works, amen, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Proverbs 10 and 7. Proverbs 10 and 7. The memory of the just is what? Blessed. The memory of the just is blessed. But the name of the wicked shall rot away. <laughs> shall rot away. Glory to God. The memory of the just is blessed. Isaiah 26 and 3. Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Why? Because he trusts in thee. Glory to God. I'm telling you, miracles going to happen with this. Matthew 22 and 2037. 20, I'm telling you, 24 hours in Jesus' name. Matthew 22 and 37. Jesus said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with what? All thy mind. There you go. With all thy mind. With all thy mind. With all thy mind. One more. Glory to God. Let me get over here where I'm going to go in a minute. Well, we're going to rehearse some stuff. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. Say casting down imagination. Ah, you see what that thing doing? You got to what? Cast it down. Casting down every, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity. What? Every thought. Bring it into captivity. What? Every thought. Bring it into captivity. What? Every thought. How? To the obedience of Christ. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Now, won't you just wave your hand? Just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for this sound mind. For this sound mind. This sound mind. 
the the sound mind, 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 the sound mind. God is saying today, I said, I said, oh my God, in 24 hours, deliverance came to me that what I dealt with for over 40 years. I've been saved, miracles. God had used me to do miracles, blessing people and everything else, but yet I had to wrestle with this thought. I forgave, I released, I did everything, but yet this thought, yet this thought could still ruin my day, could still put me on guard, still got me off. Okay, it's a disorder. Say disorder. Disorder. You know, order brings increase. What's disorder going to do? <gasps> disorder. All because of what? The memory. But today, guess what's going to happen? Glory to God. Say forgetting those things which are behind. I, I reach for those things which are before. I press for the mark of the high call in God. In Christ Jesus. Come on, give God thanks right now. Give God thanks. Give God thanks. Glory to God. Second Timothy 1 and 7. Say, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Sound mind. Grab yourself like this. Say, sound mind. 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 Stand to your feet, everyone. Stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Deliverance is here today. Deliverance is here today. Deliverance is here today. In the name of Jesus. Sound mind. Sound mind. I want you to get in your, in your mind this thought that ruins your day. And for some people who don't know any better, it's ruined your life. It's ruined your life. You've come to the Lord. Amen. Maybe you can't forgive someone. And sometimes you can't even forgive yourself. Amen? Because what happened was the memories of the traumatic event, the traumatic, the person that put the trauma or, 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 or who, 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 who put the trauma on you, amen, you, you forgiven, you prayed, you've done everything you need to do. But God says today, he says, it's going to be my hand that's going to come over your life and it's going to erase that trauma. It's going to erase that past. You better thank him right now in the name of Jesus because we don't have the ability sometimes. When we say, I can forgive and I can't forget, you telling the truth. But God can cause you to forget. Thank him, saints of God. Mm -hmm.